Good evening and welcome back to another video. Again, in the messy shed. Really, really apologise for for this. <laughs> um, I keep saying every week about getting it uh, about getting it tidied up, but I just haven't haven't had the time. So, um, the record breaker or the record holder, Raymond, my Scottish friend, who has been over, I think, four or five times now in the last last couple of years really really from the very beginning of my my whole guiding uh experience he's been there from the start and uh he holds the biggest fish which is 28 pound one ounce um i'll show you a couple of clips of that there now but um yeah i'm going to the airport now in half literally in half an hour to lift him um, we've got two days out on the boat um he's going to be one of the very few people actually that gets to go on my boat before it goes um, it's being sold now in two weeks in fact it already has sold the guys just lifting it in in two weeks and the new one's going to be on its way soon so stay stay tuned for that because that's going to be something special um but yeah i'm going to try and tidy up a bit i'll go down to the airport get the man lifted and uh we'll see you as uh, we'll see you on the water good morning and we're on the water Tactics have changed slightly because well, uh, the wind blew up through the night, so we're going to stick to the river for the first few hours. It does give it the, the calm down in the in the afternoon. So plan of attack is push the river, see what happens. Um, pushing three dead bait rods and a couple of lure rods there. But as you can see, the, this the river is usually flat calm, and there's a bit of a chop on it even in here. So I think. Uh, I think the lock is a no-go for the first few hours, but it's good to have Raymond back. We'll get out and uh, see if we can beat this 28 pounder. That's us. Rod's out. We've handed up, we've had to anchor in the shelter spot, not where I wanted to go initially, but we sort of had to make do. Um, one of the baits we have on is a massive, massive roach. So if it goes, it should be fun. Um, not usually a fan of using big, huge baits like that, but it'll be interesting to see if it goes. But um, yeah, plan is push the river for a few hours. The wind gives it the day down, and we'll maybe head out into the lock then and see how things go. Who knows? Um, the fishing could be excellent in here, with a bit of luck, fingers crossed. I mean, we could just stay up here all day. We've got two days. Raymond is here to tomorrow as well uh, as flight home then tomorrow evening so plenty of time and uh, let's hope the rain stays away that's the main thing I suppose so I don't know if you can see the sky away in the distance but there's a lot of rain falling that general direction plan was to go out into the lock, sort of got halfway down the river and I seen that. So I've decided to pull in tight to the into a sheltered sort of bank and uh, we've cast the rods out and just sort of give it half an hour or so before before heading out because nobody wants to be out in that. It looks like it's proper hammering down. So it's a spot I've never tried before. Seems to be a fur flow on the river though, that's the, the only can issue. But it's a new spot. See what happens. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> there you go. First fish for Raymond. Just shy of 28 pounds. <laughs> unfortunately not. Maybe 28 ounces. Yeah, and just unfortunately not. Nice fish to start off though. Beautiful markings. Yeah, really, really nice. Any fish from the river is always good. All right, well done. I'll get him back. So run number two for Raymond. We're a bit of a bit of a dilemma here at the minute. A couple of reasons. A piece of delicate. Room. Yeah, so there's a big raft of weed that's floating right in front of our line. But thankfully the pike's taking it out in the deep water, which is good. There was also a, an adult otter which has swam past us earlier, which was a massive, massive, massive otter. So I hope the, the otter hasn't lifted our bait. Um, but strike up whenever you're ready because he's had it for a while. A small roach. There's a bit more of a bend on the rod, no? Yeah, still not there first. Right. That's it, bring him back this road. I'll get the net. It's 
I'm just gonna keep this hopefully like that. You can see what's going on. Let's see if I get attacked by another or not. No, you're alright. Dab me a pike. It's a baby. Wrong, it's not a baby, it's number two. It's only very lightly hooked as well. Yeah, I'll get it. Number two. Get rid of rush. There we go. Fish number two. Again, not a big fish. Bigger than the first one. Certainly not breaking Raymond's 28 pound record. But difficult conditions. I'll certainly not say no. Good man. So there we go. Two fish. Spoke to quite a few people that's fishing out on the lock and they're struggling. Very few people have actually even caught fish. Um, it's just hard to know really what's going on. Temperatures are up and down. The fish are all over the place. Um, but two fish, I'm happy with that so far. A nice, uh, good nice upper double would really, I think, make the weekend. I think every time Raymond comes over here he's done reasonably well. So I think he's... Uh, He'd be disappointed without a big fish. He'd say he's not, but I, deep down I know he's telling <laughs> lies. Um, strong gusts of wind. To be honest, there's quite a few spots where we can't get onto because the wind's just too strong. Um, so tomorrow it gives it a lot, a lot less, a lot calmer. So we'll probably head out into the open water tomorrow and and go for broke then. Fish big baits maybe. Just get the day out of the way. Today is the warm up, then we'll go bigger, go home tomorrow. But still only halfway through the day, who knows what'll turn up today. Uh, it was the fish icons, but I, I turned it off. Yeah, there he's taking it now. So I remember there's quite small hooks on that, so just let him take it there for a second. Whenever you're ready there, if he comes off, he comes off. It's one of those things that's, if it's a big fish, it's going to be in his mouth, so I wouldn't worry too much, you know. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, <laughs> it just happened to, is it a good fish or did you just? I don't know whether it's the flow that's doing it. Yeah, I think he might have hit him when he was running, but I've just seen the rod buckle over. I mean, he feels heavy, but it might yeah. just be me trying to pull him against the flow. Yes. It's bigger than the other two. You think? Yeah, he feels bigger than the other two, but... There wasn't a very big swirl there when he came up behind it. Just the flow. Uh, keep him out of the tree, we don't... Yeah, he's definitely bigger than the other two. Well, he's going to jump into the tree, is he? Well, he's not bad. He's not bad. Not much, I guess, but You're gonna, gonna give us a wee bit of. He has his mouth open. You see, the mouth will catch, catch the water sometimes and make it feel. He's very, 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 very lightly hooked. Oh, he's, a, he's a nice double. Walk back. Well done. I just, as I start, as you, just as you put the net out, that foot started to <laughs> <laughs> Hold the net a wee second there for Matt. Yeah, it's not bad, it's a long fish, worth a good measure anyway. Lovely. He's a bony fish. Yeah, lovely. A bony, bony fish. Really, really, really nice mm. fish. Hardly a mark on it. Yeah, 11 or 12, I think, I'm feeling it. Oh. <laughs> but we're just getting a few just a few hits on that rod, but we don't know. So yeah, we'll get this one measured and get him back in. I'm going to give it probably 95 centimetres. Mm. Low, low double. Mm. Lovely, lovely fish. Not a mark on it. Stunning. Mm. 
So there we go, low double. Um, we didn't weigh it, it was 90, 94 centimeters, so it was close with my guess. But um, hazard a guess of maybe 12, 13 pounds, something like that. Um, funny enough, that was the first take we've had on a pollen as well. All the other bites have been on a roach. Um, I wasn't even planned on fishing this spot, it's somewhere I've never even fished before. We just pulled in because it was nice and nice and calm and sheltered, it's like a different day. Down the other end of the lake where we were coming up, or the river should I say, it is. Uh, it was really, really choppy, really just uncomfortable and cold wind and in here is great. Almost ready to take my coat off, to be honest. But any day you get a double is a good day, so we'll stick at it for another while. I can see right up the river there, there's a few a few spots that's that's reasonably sheltered so we could probably just keep spot hopping up and down the river here and see how we get on but well, well going well so far rain clouds are on the way by the looks of it so this is probably the last spot for the day um it's cold <laughs> it's a different day whenever you're sitting in the wind and whenever you're in the shelter, whenever you're in your shelter, you, you honestly nearly take your take layers off because it's that warm and the complete opposite when you're when you're head on into the wind. But that looks like pretty angry rain cloud on the way, so we'll probably get the boat packed up and head back to the slipway, go home and get our dinner and whatnot, and then get ready for tomorrow. But a um, bit of a clip then. No 28 pounder for you is the day, unfortunately. But uh, as usual, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Um, tomorrow, I'm probably going to do another video, which will stick up during the week. So, see you tomorrow.